He's at the point now of spoiled where he walks up to me and he goes, Dad, I'm really bored with my Nintendo Wii. Can I give it to my friend Angel? I go, what did you just say? <laughs> I'm bored with my Nintendo Wii. Can I give it away? I go, is it broken? No. How long have you had it? Woo, like four years. I go, how many games do you have for the Nintendo Wii? Like 300? <laughs> I could feel you judging me over there. <laughs> I felt that. Oh! You're freaking, you're judging me right now. I can feel it. She's <laughs> over there. She's like, this is some Dr. Phil sh right here. He really messed him up. I heard you. Let me just for the record, let me set this straight, okay? I did not buy my son 300 games. Here's what happened. I have a friend who's a computer hacker. And for 75 bucks, he put 300 games on my son's hard drive. Yes, I have money, but I'm still ghetto. Oh, yeah. So I tell Frankie, do you realize how lucky you are? And then he rolls his eyes. Oh, lucky. I go, yeah, dude, you are. I says, you got a Nintendo Wii that works. You've had it for four years, and it still works. If something happens to it, I can take it back to the store, get you a new one, because I got a warranty that will last you another four years. Why is that a big deal? Because when I was your age, I had a Nintendo. Wii? No. Frankie, in 1987, I had a thing called a Nintendo Entertainment System, okay? <laughs> Nintendo Entertainment System. It didn't last four years. It lasts 90 days. 90 days is what it took for you to hit power and start seeing a flashing red screen. You know the flashing red screen where you have to look at the ground or look away or you have a seizure right then and there? <laughs> oh, yeah. And then what you had to do is you had to flip the Nintendo over and there was a silver sticker, a silver sticker with an 800 number on it. And you call the 800 number and they put you in contact with someone in Japan who made you feel like a pendejo. Oh yeah, he made you feel stupid. You call him up and he's like, it costs 250 to repair Nintendo. 250 to fix it, but it's 150 for a brand new one. And if you couldn't afford 150 for a brand new one, like we couldn't afford 150 for a brand new one, you had to become a technician at the age of seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. You had to go in the kitchen and find the most messed up butter knife you could, right? The one that had bent marks and rust stains and take that sucker back in the living room because you were gonna perform an operation. You were gonna perform an operation and bring that Nintendo back to life. You had to work to play. You had to unplug it, plug it back in. Power reset, power reset, power reset. It was like performing CPR. You'd hold a cartridge and then it was like, you push it down, you push it up, you push it down, you push it up, push it down, you push it up, push it down, you push it up. Give it oxygen! 